Hi everyone, so this is part three of my perfume collection mini series. <laughs> and again, alphabetical order, go through the notes. Not all of them are probably going to be exactly correct because I got them from the internet. Ra ra ra, <laughs> like before. <laughs> so most of you have probably watched um, the other videos, so I'm not going to waste time explaining myself in the intro for every single one of them. If you are interested or if you miss any of them, check out below. I'll have a link to all of the videos in this series once they're all up and posted. And that way if you want to flip back to any of them or skip forward to any of them, you can. So let's get started. The first one is Lancôme's Connexion or Connection um, perfume. And this one I do quite like. I think I've got a backup bottle of it somewhere. It's kind of, kind of reminds me of creaming soda a little bit. Now the notes for this one are blackcurrant blackberry, rose magnolia hibiscus, vanilla patchouli and amber. This one a lot of people don't like, um, at least on the reviews and things like that. It gets a lot of negative reviews, but I like it. It's kind of a very sweet, powdery, creaming soda kind of smell. The next one is also from Lancôme and it is Miracle. So this is very popular, um, at least it was really really popular, even more so a few years back. The notes in Miracle are lychee and freesia, magnolia, peony, ginger, pepper, jasmine and amber. This one is definitely a floral, plain and simple, it's, it's really really floral. I get sort of rosiness out of this one, um, magnolia a little bit as well. I do get a little bit of the pepper gingeriness, but not a lot. I actually get a kind of a citrusy, lemony scent to it as well. And um, it reminds me a bit of Ralph Lauren Romance, that kind of floral. Um, but it is nice. My mum really liked this one as well, um, so she also owns Miracle. But I think it works for a lot of different ages, young and more mature. The next one is Longcom's Miracle So Magic, and I kind of prefer this one over the original scent. This one is Pepper, Rose and Pink Pepper, Violet Leaves, Hazelnut, Rose, Clover, Vanilla, Cedarwood, Amber and Musk. This one's kind of like a younger, lighter, sweeter version of Miracle. This one's very light, very girly, very floral, very sweet. Um, I guess I get, I definitely get the rose, definitely get the rose. A little bit of pepperiness in it. it it's just a very lovely floral scent, um, but it was limited edition. The next perfume is from L'Occitane and it is Vanilla. Now this one isn't the bourbon vanilla, which is incredibly expensive because um, it's not available anymore. I don't think this one's available anymore either. But with this one, it's kind of um, like a true vanilla smell, I guess. It's, it's kind of like a creamy vanilla. After that one, we have Lush and this is one of their colognes and this is Prince. Now, I bought this a very long time ago, and it still smells pretty good. It's um, sort of citrusy, very citrusy. I'll see they've got the um, ingredients, they do. So it's got neroli oil, orange flower absolute, vetiver oil, orange oil, mandarin oil. Citrusy. So, it's unisex. But yeah, very much like Neroli stands out to me the most. So kind of like um, more orange peel than orange, if you know what I mean. So this is a scent that I actually purchased because of a recommendation from one of my subscribers on YouTube. And it's the Nina Ricky Nina. Now this one has the notes of lemon, lime, peony petals, moonflower, vanilla infused, red toffee apple, praline or praline, applewood, wet, white cider and musk. This one, they've got it down as being floral, 
but I think it's like a fruity floral. I think it's really, really lovely. The next one was very popular when I was in high school. And this is actually a bottle from back when I was in high school. So we're talking... I think I got it... My parents bought it for me for my birthday, I'm pretty sure. Um, but that would have been... A long time ago. Ten years ago, maybe. I think, roughly. I'm just guessing. I can't really remember. But it still smells exactly the same. Um, this one brings back memories of high school. It was very, very popular in my high school. And this is Ralph Lauren Ralph. It's the one that comes in like the little blue bottle. This one is Apple Tree Leaves Yellow Frasier, Italian Mandarin, Magnolia, Linden Blossom Frasier, Baronia, Musk, and White Oris. This is fruity. That's what it is. It's a very fruity, very, very loud scent. Very distinguishable. Um, so, you smell this, somebody's wearing it, you'll know exactly what it is. The next scent is Ralph Lauren Romance. Now this contains ginger, marigold, rose, tangerine, fraser and chamomile, lily, violets, lotus flower, patchouli, oak, mosk, musk and exotic woods. This is classed as a mossy woods and I mean, I guess to an extent kinda but to me it's still floral, um, like a floral woody kind of scent. It's not so much oriental, it's more got the woodiness to it. Um, I pick up the oak moss and the patchouli and the base of this. Definitely the rose stands out miles above everything else and like a lemony scent to it as well. It's very very fresh and very feminine but I think it works on a lot of different generations and it's also appropriate for the office, um, wedding scent, prom kind of scent. It's it's not obnoxious. It's not really, really in your face, really strong. It's subtle, but I think this is sort of like a timeless scent. So next is Romance, but this is one of their kind of um, summer limited edition scents, and this is the Sensual Notes. So with each of the limited edition romance scents, they kind of pick out something and amp that up and change it around a little bit. This one I don't get, I get a lot more floral and it's a lot girlier than the original. I don't get as much lemony scent or as much woodiness to it. It's sort of a very, very sweet, very, very floral. Um, I do like it. It is similar enough that you can still you can still tell that it's a romance scent, but it's different in the fact that it's a little bit more girly than the original is. And the last perfume for this video is the Ralph Lauren Romance Tender Notes. This would have to be my favourite of all three of the romances that I own. It is truly beautiful. It's a very, very lovely scent. To me, this scent, I would wear it every single day if I had more bottles. Um, I've used up quite a bit, but I kind of try to use it on special occasions um, or when I'm going out somewhere nice. It just encapsulates spring for me. Um, it's very rosy, very floral, but still sweet, kind of like sugared rose petals. Um, it's really girly, but I really, really, really like it. It's it's really beautiful floral scent. So that's it for this one. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I hope you're getting some help or use or fun, I guess, or enjoyment watching them. <laughs> um, that's it for this one. Any comments, feedback, suggestions, reviews, anything at all, Leave them below and let me know and I will see you all again really soon with another one. Bye. It won't go on. Fruity scent. It's a very wearable floral scent.